Hello, and welcome to another video by me, the Tree Walker. And this time we're going to talk about some things, since times are getting a little bit tougher, on how you can save a little bit of money, and maybe on some of them, quite a bit of money. Okay, now I know what's first on your mind. Is he wearing any pants? Maybe by the end of the video, you'll know. Okay, so, this is a one-gallon bucket of Italian seasoning. We use quite a bit of Italian seasoning here. Um, I do go through it with like uh, my pizza sauce, when I make sauce on that, when I put it, I put it on top of pizza, um, spaghetti sauce, just, we use quite a bit of it. So, one of the things I can do, I was buying it in bags. Um, this one was a little bit better of a deal. So I went ahead and bought it. Um, you could store it just like it is in this tub because it's airtight and it's stored a long time. And you can put them on top of each other. Works nice. They make a lot of stuff. I'm going to get some more. And I'll probably do videos on those too. Just so you can see what they cost. The runs down of them. That sort. This one was $19.99. I'll get more into the price a little bit later. But um, people in the household here aren't good at big things. So they need jars. So what I do is I take it from in there and put it in here. This is a new toy I'll show you here in a second. Okay. So when you get it, this thing's got the little seal on it cut code go to be roll no no really seriously go to be roll show somebody it's happy in a, a field or something boy why aren't you getting up ah okay so that was easy let's just pull it the rest of the way ah. See how easy that is? Just perfectly easy, and it comes off. Okay, so now you've got that off. Let's take the rest of the lid off. Just like this, this, this. Mmm, let's tap that to get that off. Look at that yumminess. Isn't that just gorgeous? Okay, so what I will do, I use jars. So these were actually pasta sauce jars. And, um, where do I have them? These fit on. Perfectly. Not really the best for canning, but you know what? They're good for vacuum sealing this stuff. So what we're going to do, is we're going to take it from here and put it in there. So you just kind of go like that. Ooh, boy, it's a little dusty, huh? Make sure you don't get the flavor saver packet in there. You can do this however you want to. This part's not really all that critical. Oh my goodness, if you could smell it, the smell of vision here would be great. So, and with these, you don't need to leave half inch space. You just kind of fill her up. That didn't even really make a dent in it, which is good. Now wipe the seal off. Um, if you really want to, you can get a paper towel, wet paper towel, whatever. I like to, don't want to because I want to keep it dry. Keep it dry. Okay. Now for this, I will use these and then later I'll reuse them because why not? Okay. So usually I use my vacuum sealer, which you'll see in this in an upcoming video. But I got this for Christmas. Um... And it's supposed to do the same thing, but it's rechargeable. You just plop her on there. Turn it on. And wait for the magic. There we go. It's got some kind of stain on top. But I didn't read any directions. It's up to 30 now. 32, 33. I think it's just counting. Okay, it did its magic, look. Now with these, they are notorious. Um, that is airtight in there. 
they are notorious. I've had quite a few of them pop off, not with this one, but with the other one. So I do like to put rings on, leave rings on, just to make sure. But the button's down, so it's sealed. So truthfully, this will last indefinite. I mean, I check them every so often to make sure that that didn't pop, but it is vacuum sealed in there. So as long as your jars are clean, you should be good. So that's it. You just take this, put it in those, or just leave it there, and you can save some money. Let's hit the numbers. Okay, the numbers for this. I figured this all out. Um, Walmart was a little helpful. They actually had it right on their site. This bucket cost $19.98 at the video, uh, recording this video, which is January 1st, 2024. So that comes up to $0.73 cents an ounce. Now we'll go for least expensive, the closest to this price, to more. So at Walmart, it was $1.18 an ounce. And that was for the 0.95 ounce jar. So $0.73 cents for this, $1.18. So that is what, $0.35? Cents? So $0.35 cents savings per ounce. And, you know, that that's quite a bit. Um, I don't remember how many ounces were in this. I looked it up. I think it's like um, 27 point something, if I remember right, because it has the weight on here as 0.77 kilograms. The next one, and that was the Great Value Walmart brand. The Meyer brand. Actually, yeah, I don't know if, if you have a Meyers in your area or not. We do. That's where I usually shop. For a 0.75 ounce jar, which is like your normal jars, $2.92 an ounce. So that's over $2 an ounce savings. I was actually surprised to see uh, Walmart's great value was cheap, that cheap, but you know, sometimes you get what you pay for. Now, if you go up to the McCormick brand, which is available most places, good brand, they've got really good seasonings and stuff, but that one comes in a 2.25 ounce jar, but that was $3.28 an ounce. So what is that, roughly, Two hundred fifty cents, give or take a little bit, an ounce savings you get on this. So not only are you storing up, you're saving money while doing it. Because if you're going to use this, you're going to use it, right? And with the way some things are going, times might be getting a little rough. And if they get rough, if you have the right seasonings, you can eat any meat. I mean literally you know trash pandas whatever you need um so and the prices are only going to go up on this stuff i plan on getting a um bucket every week that i can um because we go through a lot of seasonings here we make a lot of our own stuff uh, taco seasoning's big that's going to hit me so i'll have to see how much that actually costs because for the one gallon bucket it was like 30 dollars for cumin ground cumin seed and I think about the same for chili powder. Um, but it can save a lot. Okay, let me get the rest of this in those jars. And I'll bring you back and show you how much actually uh, we have left. Okay, so there we go. This is not an advertisement for the KZ80 portable sealing machine. I did get it for Christmas. Um, you can find it on Amazon. Um, not very expensive. It's like $30, I think. But um, give her a try. Works great. It's rechargeable. Um, little, you have to fiddle with it a little bit to get the top to actually snap on and go. But other than that, it works pretty good. Um, and it's rechargeable, so you can take it with you when you're off grid to help seal these up. Now, the real nice thing about these, as you can see, we got what is it? One, two, three, four, five, six, 
see how the buttons are down every one of those is sealed um, and the nice thing is you can reuse those lids because you're not really doing anything with them like I said I do like to leave the rings on um, and when they come out to use them let me show you ah, I have the plastic lids on it that's actually um, a different brand right there but that's all we had left so we'll bring it out set it down and do it okay so there was one little tip that I've done to help kind of with the budget help everything go and passing it on to you so hope you can use it hope you can save a little bit of money and hope you can prep up all right stay live out there and keep on surviving